Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pello, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out this Thursday with a scripture reading from Hebrews chapter 6, verse 13 through 20. When God made a promise to Abraham, because he had no one greater by whom to swear, he swore by himself, saying, I will surely bless you and multiply you. And thus Abraham, having patiently endured, obtained the promise. Human beings, of course, swear by someone greater than themselves, and an oath given as confirmation puts an end to all dispute. In the same way, when God desired to show even more clearly to the heirs of the promise the unchangeable character of his purpose, he guaranteed it by an oath, so that through two unchangeable things in which it is impossible that God would prove false, we who have taken refuge might be strongly encouraged to seize the hope set before us. We have this hope, a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul, a hope that enters the inner shrine behind the curtain, where Jesus, a forerunner on our behalf, has entered, having become a high priest forever. And that is our scripture reading from Hebrews chapter 6. If you will, please join me now in a time together in prayer. Let us now pray together. Dear God, at the start of each day, help us to recognize you above all else. Enlighten the eyes of our heart that we might see you and notice how you are at work through our lives. Give us wisdom to make the best choices. Fill us with a desire to seek after you more than anything else in this world. Let your spirit and power breathe in us, through us, again fresh anew. Thank you that your presence goes with us and that your joy is never dependent on our circumstances, but it is our true and lasting strength, no matter what we are up against. We ask that your peace lead us, especially in difficult times consumed by conflict. We ask that your grace, for your grace to cover our lives this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you here tomorrow morning as well. Hope you all have a good Thursday today.